algebra. The tutorial covers the solution of word problems using algebraic expressions and formulae and the solution of the same word problems using the Singapore Bar model. The Year 6 programmes of study are the following 6a 1 express missing number problems algebraically and 6a 2 use simple formulae. In this tutorial we are going to create algebraic expressions for word problems then we are going to use those expressions and use simple formulae to create an equation and solve that equation. The Standings and Testing Agency 2016 introduced national curriculum reference numbers for every programme of study. The following is the programmes of study for Year 6 for Mathematics. The strand is A1 and the reference is 6A1 express missing number problems algebraically and also today 6A2 use simple formulae. Programmes of study for Year 6 Algebra was explicitly added to the Year 6 Primary Maths curriculum. The five areas that should be taught are 6A1 express missing number problems algebraically 6A2 use simple formulae those are the two that we're going to use in this video 6A3 generate and describe linear number sequences 6A4 find pairs of numbers that satisfy an equation with two unknowns 6A5 enumerate possibilities of combination of two variables programs and study for year 6 non-statutory notes and guidance. Pupils should be introduced to the use of symbols and letters to represent variables and unknowns in the mathematical situations that they already understand such as the following. Singapore Maths A study by UCL Institute of Education and Cambridge University provided the first hard evidence that pupils make an average an extra month of progress in a calendar year using Singapore Maths. Following on from this research, some primary schools have adopted the Singapore Maths scheme of work. The bar model diagrams used in Singapore Maths help pupils solve all types of challenging problems. The bar model diagram is actually an algebraic method of using boxes or blocks to represent unknown variables. Pupils should be able to gain a deeper understanding of algebraic concepts by using both the Singapore method and algebraic method when both methods are used side by side. The objectives of the, the video tutorials Objective 1 First of all, to solve the word problems using the Singapore bar method, that's in part one. And in part two of the question, the objective two is to solve the identical word problems as above by creating algebraic expressions for the unknown values within a question. Objective three, to turn the algebraic expressions into an equation, then solve that equation and objective 4 to use substitution to find the value of the unknowns in order to answer the questions in the word problems. The aims of the video tutorials number 1 the tutorial videos are set at a slow pace to enable pupils to write and solve the equations in real time without having to stop and pause the videos the solutions to the questions are set out on 5mm square paper. Square paper pads can be purchased from stationery stores. Also school maths books usually contain square paper. The same word problems are solved using both the Singapore method and the algebraic method giving pupils a much greater depth of understanding. 
the videos will introduce some viewers to the Singapore method for the very first time, especially if it is not embedded within their own school.